two days after SpaceX Starship soared up to the sky for the sixth time, Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket quietly raised vertically on its launch pad. However, it has now been over a month, and New Glenn remains stationary, while Starship is almost ready for another flight. Furthermore, Blue Origin has gone suspiciously silent, which seems to signal one more postponement. This raises significant questions. Is New Glenn really ready for its first launch? Find out everything in today's episode. Anyway, thank you for helping us reach 90,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. In late 2023, Blue Origin electrified the space community with a series of milestones with its large New Glenn rocket. They completed the rocket's first stage hot fire test on December 27th at its pad, Space Launch Complex 36, in Cape Canaveral. It was a day that Blue Origin CEO Dave Limp called the big day. Simultaneously, the FAA issued the flight approval for New Glenn. All of this demonstrates that the maiden flight, designated New Glenn, one is on track. At the time I made this report, the rocket may have been mated with its encapsulated payload, the final work before its historical launch event. The anticipation surrounding the launch of Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket is quite justified. Since Jeff Bezos introduced the rocket in 2016, there have been multiple delays and the rocket has yet to make its inaugural flight despite various projected launch dates. Furthermore, Blue Origin's founder has heavily promoted New Glenn as a significant competitor to SpaceX's Falcon rocket, leading many to speculate that its entry into the market could challenge SpaceX's current dominance. However, that future remains elusive, as after trying to attract media attention late last year, the company suddenly went silent on New Glenn's progress, just as it had before. Surprisingly, they've kept so quiet even when the initial launch date of January 6th was right around the corner. According to the FAA, Blue Origin could launch New Glenn's first flight on the 6th of this month, with backup opportunities daily through the 12th. It's very likely that the January 6th launch window is off the table. So, when is the next available date? According to the new navigational warning, Blue Origin is now targeting no earlier than January 10th for New Glenn's first launch. That day is also the launch date of Starship Flight 7. And with this situation, it's not out of the question that New Glenn will launch after Starship. If that turns out to be the case, it would add to Blue Origin's humiliation against rival SpaceX. We know that Blue Origin's New Glenn rocket went vertical on the launch pad just two days after Starship Flight 6. But so far, while SpaceX has completed almost the necessary stages between launches and verified the launch date, it is still unclear when New Glenn will fly. The complexity of Starship's design and its ambitious flight objectives theoretically suggest that SpaceX would require significantly more time to prepare for its missions than Blue Origin. But in reality, SpaceX's rapid pace has proven otherwise. This situation raises questions about Blue Origin's pace in finalizing preparations for New Glenn's first flight, especially as the company navigates the intricate processes involved in launching a heavy lift vehicle designed for reusability and capable of carrying substantial payloads. To date, SpaceX has been diligently engaged in testing and perfecting the components of its Starship rocket. Each stage of Starship has successfully completed its individual tests, and the focus is now shifting towards final integration. A significant milestone was achieved when the B-14 booster was successfully moved to the launch pad. In a recent update, SpaceX announced that on the night of January 2nd, the Flight Termination System FTS, was installed on the B-14 booster, an essential measure for ensuring flight safety. The B-14 will remain at the launch site until Starship S-33 arrives, at which point the stacking and integration process will commence. To further clarify that the flight is on track, recent updates on the notice to airmen have been issued, detailing the warning areas and precise timing for the upcoming flight. 
The launch is now targeted for January 10, 2025, at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time from Texas. Additionally, SpaceX has shared information about the schedule and maps for observation aircraft, which will play a vital role in monitoring the flight from a safe distance. As these updates continue to emerge, it is clear that SpaceX is gearing up for an exciting launch event. The excitement increased significantly as SpaceX generously revealed the internal details about Flight 7, such as the hardware upgrades and flight objectives. SpaceX's active engagement on social media explains why people are more interested in the firm than Blue Origin. Also, this is partly because the public likes Elon Musk more than Jeff Bezos. This topic often pops up online. Why does Jeff Bezos get more hate than Elon Musk? Musk was also named Time's 2021 Person of the Year. Of course, the reason is not indeed that he is the richest person in the world. In the words of a Quora user, Elon Musk is what you see is what you get. Brilliant with hubris, dad jokes, stupid tweets included. By interacting with the public on this platform, Elon Musk has attracted many fanboys and fangirls through social media. This helps him to communicate directly with millions of followers, allowing him to bypass traditional media channels. This direct engagement creates a sense of transparency and builds a loyal customer base for his companies, Tesla and SpaceX. His tweets often include personal anecdotes, memes, and candid thoughts, which humanize him and make him relatable to the public. This authenticity resonates with followers who appreciate his openness about both successes and failures. Bezos is different. His professional demeanor on X and his lack of personal connection with followers starkly contrast with Elon Musk's more engaging social media presence. Bezos tends to approach X with a formal tone, often sharing content that feels overly polished and lacking in emotional resonance. Ridiculously, while Jeff Bezos attempts to present himself as a professional, his company, Blue Origin, is not like that. Despite being in the space sector longer than SpaceX, Blue Origin's contributions to spaceflight are almost negligible. It has never sent people into orbit around Earth, something SpaceX accomplished in 2020. SpaceX's existence is indeed a game-changer in this field. The firm has successfully completed its 435th mission to orbit, handling an impressive 85% of Earth's payload to low Earth orbit thereby solidifying the United States' leadership in global space efforts. SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft has notably reduced NASA's reliance on Russian technology for crewed missions, reclaiming a degree of political independence for the U.S. More importantly, Elon Musk has advanced the concept of space commercialization like never before by developing cost-effective rockets. This innovation is a game-changer for the aerospace industry particularly benefiting government agencies like NASA. Imagine the potential savings in taxpayer dollars if we could replace expensive and controversial rockets, like the Space Launch System, with more efficient options such as Falcon and Starship. While Bezos may focus on a polished image and long-term visions for Blue Origin, the reality is that Musk's practical advancements and relentless pursuit of innovation have brought the dream of accessible space travel much closer to reality. SpaceX's influence goes beyond the range of the aerospace field. According to Time, his company is gobbling up local housing and encouraging employees to move there. Creating the city of Starbase, Texas, Elon Musk's relocation and business expansion in Texas has significantly transformed the local landscape, particularly in small border towns like Brownsville and Bastrop. His ventures, including Tesla's Giga Factory and SpaceX operations, have not only reshaped the economy, but also influenced the political and social dynamics of these areas. Musk's companies have become major employers in Texas. Tesla's Giga Factory in Austin employs over 22,000 workers, making it the largest private employer in the city. SpaceX's presence has similarly boosted employment opportunities particularly in Cameron County, 
where the company has established a launch facility at Boca Chica Beach. This has led to a significant increase in local jobs and economic activity, with local officials noting that Musk's initiatives have spurred millions in sales and tourism as visitors flock to watch rocket launches. The influx of workers has driven up property values and increased demand for local services. New businesses, such as restaurants and hotels, have emerged to cater to the growing population of tech employees. In Brownsville, for instance, revitalization efforts funded by Musk's foundation have led to the opening of new cafes and public spaces, adorned with space-themed murals. While it may be tempting to overlook Jeff Bezos's contributions to the world, particularly in the context of the rocket industry, doing so would be unfair. Bezos emerged as a choice in 1999, at a time when e-commerce was just beginning to gain traction. He transformed Amazon from a modest online bookstore launched from his garage on July 5, 1994, into a colossal enterprise that today accounts for nearly 40.4% of all online retail shopping in the U.S. as of 2024. In its early years, Amazon generated $650 million in annual sales by 1999, representing about 5% of the U.S. e-commerce market. Fast forward a quarter century, and estimates for Amazon's U.S. merchandise sales have skyrocketed to as much as $540 billion, with e-commerce now making up 15.6% of the overall retail economy. Bezos's innovative approach to customer service, anticipating consumer needs before they even realize them, has been instrumental in Amazon's success. Features like same-day delivery have set new standards for convenience and efficiency in online shopping. His vision and relentless pursuit of growth have not only reshaped retail, but also had a profound impact on consumer behavior globally. In addition to his business achievements, Bezos has stepped up his philanthropic efforts since stepping down as Amazon's CEO. He has committed substantial resources to initiatives aimed at addressing homelessness through his Day One Fund, and has pledged to donate much of his wealth to charity throughout his lifetime. This commitment reflects a broader trend among tech billionaires to engage in philanthropy, although some critics argue that his contributions are still modest compared to his immense fortune. In short, thanks to Amazon's miraculous growth, Jeff Bezos has emerged as a symbol of innovation and success, making people always remember him as a top salesman rather than an engineer. In December 2023, Bezos made a significant move by appointing Dave Limp as the CEO of his space exploration company. This strategic decision is expected to propel the New Glenn project forward, with the first launch scheduled for this year. Limp's leadership is anticipated to bring new momentum and innovation to Blue Origin, aligning with Bezos's legacy of pushing boundaries in technology and exploration.